right, welcome back. So, you need to read the instructions on the can, which I did. If you remember the blue golf cart, I did a blue paint job on it with the gloss 2X rust oleum, and it turned out really nice. I was very surprised for a non automotive paint. But if you don't pay attention, and I got cocky after I sanded it down, I'd had uh, a good heavy coat on there and it dried overnight. And then uh, you can see here on the floor, I spent some time wet sanding. That's all red paint. Um, thinking, all right, this is going to be a really good paint job. So when I started hitting it, I was putting a moderate coat on there. And then by the time I got to right about here, I could see it starting to wrinkle up and it looked like one of those DIY do-it-yourself jobs. It's just unacceptable. You see the wrinkles in it? So basically what has happened is when you put on too heavy a coat, the solvents in it will start working with the, the paint below it and you know it dried overnight which was probably not long enough to do that sort of a thing. Uh, what you should do is put on, just like when you put on the, the first coat, put it on thin layers so you're creating a barrier. Put on a thin layer, wait 10 minutes, put on another thin layer, wait a little bit, and so on until you get your desired finish. Uh, I'm just kind of disappointed in the fact that I got in a hurry and I tried to put it on like I would lacquer or um, one of the other automotive paints and it just made a mess. So pretty much I'll be wet sanding this down again and just remember if you get it to a point where you think that looks good I'll let it sit overnight and I'll sand it out and make sure there's not any pits or bumps in it. I mean it just did a number on it and then I'll just shoot it don't do that you know if you're gonna sand it down and do like i did wait till overnight to shoot it again put on multiple thin coats to create a barrier between the old paint and the, and the new paint so it doesn't cause as you can see this whole thing's gonna have to be sanded down i was trying to do this before i took off for the weekend to head to dallas for a crawfish boil for my brother's birthday but you can see that it's hideous I'm not even going to leave out of the garage with that and that won't pass muster so that's going to be some more sanding and I mean I, I know it's an old golf cart but I got to have a little pride so I didn't see I saw that there weren't very many videos of this mistake and so I thought maybe I should post one and let's see if you can it's not too bad on the sides but it was like I said, it kind of sucks. Let's see. And it's really bad. The alligator cracked all over. I just don't accept those, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have to do it again. Learn the lessons. Got cocky. Got in a hurry. Didn't put on thin coats. All right. Well put y'all back on the top. Thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you on the next paint job when this is done right.